in peace, thou peace, three peace, the dogs here, pets for peace. There's nothing like a good sing-along on the school bus. But if you don't quite recognise the words to this one, well don't worry, there is a good reason. These primary school pupils from Red Ruth are on their way to a very special birthday party. I followed them inside, where everything would soon become clear. But first, I needed a quick lesson in the basics of speaking Cornish. Mitten da is good morning, the heart of stars good afternoon, Splan is splendid, Mirage is thank you, and more plague is please. Today marks 20 years since Cornish was officially recognised by the UK government as a minority language. It wouldn't be a proper party without a blast of happy birthday, and thanks to the magic of technology, we were even joined by eight other schools all showing off their linguistic skills in a language which is still very much alive and kicking. It's pretty amazing that our little patch of the planet has got its own language. And this language has roots dating back at least 4,000 years. And yet, it was only 20 years ago that our language at last officially got recognition. Since when we've been able to engage with our language, celebrate it publicly, and do some great stuff with schools and young people as well. And terminal the u spladen, and terminal the u kernoek. The future's bright, the future's Cornish. It's fun, basically, and it's ingrained in the land. 75% of our place names come from the Cornish language. Uh, and when you go wandering in uh, Wales or Brittany, um, you, can, you can read the Latin the same as you can in Cornwall. This is our identity, this is our heritage. We've had a Cornish language which in, in the last 20 years has come a huge way to being re, reintroduced and re-spoken within our communities and, you know, and, and all the work that's been done can only move it forward, which can only be a good thing. I'll leave the final word to the children of Trewergy infants who have a special message. <laughs> 